My uncle, who uh, passed away, but um, he always used to have the Walkman. So when he used to come to my house, he used to be popping his head, and I used to be looking at him like, looked like he was always in his zone, because I'll be calling him, he can't hear me, and then he's whispering, and it's like he's enjoying himself, and I'm like, what is he doing? Is this... Yo, let me listen to that. He'll let me put it on, and what song? What's the first song you memorized? Well, the first he song used to he used to be like, he used to always listen to Rock Him, mm. like. Rock him fanatic, he used to have the cassette. So um let me listen to it. He just bobbed in my head and I'm like, yo, I need this. I mean he bought me one and it was just like it was just a zone. But my little brothers and sisters, we used to have the radio on all day. It's like like we'll we'll be in the house, we'll start singing the songs. It's like take your mind off of what's the reality of what's going on, like there's no food in the house. We're waiting for, probably for my grandmother to come over town across town to maybe give us something. Where was she from? Um, she's from College Avenue. You know, um, come over to, to where we was at and probably bring some groceries, whatever. When the times was rough, it was like I said, my mother, father was strung out like at the time, he'll work in the Hunts Point Market, so he'll leave probably like on a Sunday mm -hmm. and we won't see him again until like a Thursday. Mm -hmm. But he was on drugs anyway, but there's only so much he can help at that time. So my mother got six of us. And she don't got no job and we in the shelter, so. How, how does your mom explain your dad being gone for three, four, five days at a time? I mean, she didn't have to explain it to me because I was smart. You know, I knew what was going on. I seen it. So I knew he was just messed up. You know, I knew the drugs was making him do that because I knew my father before the drugs, you know, but he's clean now, everything good. good. You would never think he on drugs, but yeah. back then it was crazy. So I guess, who would you say were the biggest influences on you as a person, as a musician, as a rapper? Like, who influenced you the most? Big, big. You know the crazy thing is, um, just like going into the big story, is that's how I found out he died. Like my father was working that night, and he came in a little bit early. Um, and he came in. I'm like, Yo, what's up, man? He's like, Yo, DJ, turn off the music, man. He said he killed Big in L.A. And I was like, just messed my whole chart up, man. Like you know what I'm saying, but. And yeah, Big was a big influence, man, you know, um, cause it was like, when I heard his record, Juicy, as a little kid, and um, I'm listening to it, but it's not like now, you know what I'm saying? When you listen to a record, you don't know how to do look, you go on YouTube. Yeah. So you just gotta wait till you catch it on video music box That's or, right. you know what yeah. I'm saying? And as far as, you know, the visual go. So I'm like, yo, this dude is dope. And then I see him, Big, Big black dude rock, and I'm like, no, oh, this, 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 this kid's this dude is dope, you know? So, yeah, that's crazy, but Big had the biggest influence. So, like, I guess talk more about, I mean, you're from the Bronx. Like, hip hop yeah. is synonymous with the Bronx. Yeah. How does, I mean, does that, what does that mean to you? Uh, being the Bronx is the birthplace is a big thing, you know? Um, take pride in it. You know, I wish we had more as far as the boroughs, you know? We, we really go, we really go hard. We go harder than people think, but I mean, you know, the, the greatest rap out the Bronx, we lost at a young, and you know, big pun, rest mm -hmm. in peace, you know, but shout out to my boy Fat Joe. Like he been holding it down for like 20 years, man. And he's still rocking, you know, but you know, then you got the greats, KRS one, shout out to him. It was big for me because you know, he's the um, pioneer, he's the legend. And he asked me to be on his last album, so me, going to showbiz joint, rocking on the showbiz beat for KRS one for his album, that was huge. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just so BX, man. You know, anything with the Bronx, I try to, right. you know, but yeah, it's, it's, it's huge, it's the birthplace. And you, t you talk about New York, we ain't talking about, we talking about the birthplace of a hip hop culture that's like world renowned mm -hmm. and it happened here where we doing this interview at, so that's crazy. It's kind of crazy how you think about you know, hip hop is, is it's literally people that have nothing just making a beat and then yeah. just saying words over it. And in 30 years, it influences the whole world. Like there's, there's yeah. no getting around it, you know what I mean? And, and the crazy thing about it, I always say that hip hop generated from poverty. Yeah. 
I, I don't think if it was if the, the dudes, if the people was rich and they had things to do, nobody would ever just be like, let me just bang on this. You had to be bored out your mind right. to start banging on stuff and start making it a beat. Bored, nothing to do, no money, and that's what happened, you yeah, know? Yeah, so yeah. it's beautiful.